Merry Christmas! Today I'm going to be taking you through the only workout you need this festive season. This is a full body workout and all you need for this workout is either a pair of dumbbells or a barbell and plate. I'm going to be showing you options for each. We're going to be doing the same exercises. I'll be mixing and matching the two, but just pick whatever equipment you have available out of those two. This workout consists of two sections, six exercises each, 30 on, 20 off. There's a warm up linked in the description below, or you could just go a little lighter for that first set. I'm going to be starting off with some 17 and a half kilo dumbbells. That's about 39 pounds per dumbbell or a 40 kilo barbell. That is about 88 pounds. So pick what weight's right for you and let's get into the workout. So whether you're going to be using some dumbbells or a barbell, we're going to start off with a push press. So a push press is like a shoulder press, but you can get that little leg drive to start. We're going to be doing 30 seconds on, 20 seconds off. We've got three rounds of this first section. So a little bend, drive up to the top. I'm going to be starting with the dumbbells. I'll do my second round with the barbell. We'll see how long I can keep this woolly hat on. All right, so we've got 20 seconds off now. Next up, we're gonna do a back and bicep exercise. We're gonna do a bent over row. So I'm gonna hinge at the hip, keep a nice flat back. Try and be as horizontal as you can. Rather than pulling the dumbbells up in a straight line, you wanna pull them back towards your pocket slightly, engaging those mid and lower traps, as well as the lats. Ooh, already getting a bit hot. So you can move on to the front squat now. We can either do a double dumbbell front squat. You could hold a single dumbbell I'm gonna go for the double dumbbell or a barbell front or back squat. You've got a few options there. So if you're going for this double dumbbell front squat, you might find two is a bit extreme and you wanna just goblet squat it like this. Make it a little easier. If you can do a barbell front squat, that's great. But if you struggle with the mobility, just pop the bar on your back and do a back squat instead. Next up, we're gonna do a floor press, a little bit of chest, shoulders, and tricep. You can do this, like I said before, with dumbbells or a bar. Elbows tucked in nice and tight for this one. Let's go. So slowly lower until your elbows make contact with the floor and then press back to the top. Stay on the mat now. We're gonna go on to an ab exercise. You don't need any weight for this. We're gonna do some alternating leg V-ups, sending the body every time to meet each leg. If you can't come all the way up into this V-up, you can do like a V-up crunch where I'm keeping my lower back on the floor and just crunching. But if you can do the full V up, going up onto that tailbone, and that'll be a more advanced option. Ooh. 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 
Okay, we've got final exercise of the six. In this first section, we're gonna do a deadlift. I'm gonna do a dumbbell deadlift. So if you're doing a dumbbell deadlift, you're still gonna allow some leg bend at the bottom of the movement. But I'm not gonna come all the way to the floor because that would cause me to round my back. And we're looking for a nice flat back. So I'm gonna hinge at the hip like I'm doing a Romanian. And then when I start to reach about knee level, I'm gonna bend my knees. If you've ever done a hex bar deadlift, then it'll be similar to this dumbbell variation. All right. So we've got a short break now, and then we're gonna go again. So we've got three rounds of this first section. I'm gonna swap out a bit of variety. I'm gonna show you that same section done with a barbell, but if you've got those dumbbells, carry on with that. We're starting off with that push press. So that bent over row next. Remember, we're looking for nice flat back. Horizontal body position, rowing back in towards the body rather than up in a straight line. <laughs> Little pause at the top while you pinch your back muscles. find your lower back's getting tired, just stand up for a second, and then when it's feeling rested, go straight back into the reps. All right, we've either got that front squat or that back squat. Remember, if you've got dumbbells, you can go single dumbbell or double. I'm gonna go for a front squat. <sighs> Breathe and embracing. <sighs> Holding that breath for the whole rep. release them when you get to the top. We're onto the floor press. Next. Everything covered in this workout. Legs, push, pull, and abs. We'll even get a bit of arms done in the second section. Okay, we're staying on the floor. I've got those V-ups, I'm just gonna move the bar out of the way. So remember you got the crunch option or this full V-up option. All 
right, we're on to that deadlift. Obviously, I'm doing the uh, barbell deadlift this round. So a conventional deadlift. Start with your tongues of your shoes under the bar, straight feet. Get that back flat. Keep the bar super close to your body the whole way up. So it's close to the shins, just past the knee, and then meet the quads nice and early. So you should brush up your legs, and that'll save your lower back. I like to do a little reset at the bottom of my back position, but you could touch and go your reps like this. All right, two down, one to go. You've got a rest now in this first section. I'm gonna move back on to the dumbbells, I think, for this last one. Let me know in the comments below after the workout, what did you use, dumbbells or barbell? Push press. So that bent over row next. Haven't even had time for a drink. Maybe I'll sneak one after this set. for that goblet squat but you've got front squat back squat or goblet squat next let's go definitely getting a little sweaty i think i'm committed to wearing the santa hat for this one I'm not sure anyone's gonna want it after me though. <laughs> Onto that floor press. Finding it easy, just up your reps. Staying on the floor. I've got those V ups next. Engage that core. Something I want you to think about for these is when you're in this open position, don't arch your lower back off the mat. So you come in back to almost like a hollow hold position each time. That'll give you a better ab workout and it won't hurt your back as the pressure 
falls through that arch. Alright, got those deadlifts. Great job, we're halfway through. So we can get rid of these heavier dumbbells. I'm gonna swap, swap down now. I'm gonna go down to some 10 kilo dumbbells. That is 22 pounds per dumbbell. I'm gonna swap the bar down to a 20 kilo weight. That's the total weight, including the bar. And uh, if you fancy following a program in the new year, check out my barbell and dumbbell ebooks, which I'll link in the description of this video. It's a 12 week plan, video demos for all the exercises throughout. We've got these one and a half bicep curls. So we're gonna curl up, squeeze, we're gonna come halfway down, back to the top, and down to your sides. So one, and half, and back down. You can do this with a bar. Still doing the one and a half curl. I'll do my second round with the barbell, just to give you a little bit of a visual for those as well. All right, onto the mat. Got a tricep exercise next. I'm gonna do some skull crushers or lying tricep extensions, if you want a friendlier name. So I only want your elbows to move, so your armpit joint staying fixed. We're hinging at the elbow. Dumbbells are gonna brush just past the tops of my ears. And I'm going to extend at the elbow, squeeze the tricep at the top, slowly lower of control, brushing the tops of my ears, don't bash yourself in the head. Trying to minimise any movement of the upper part of my arm between my shoulder and my elbow. All right, we're going to stay here. We've got some leg raises next, but we're going to add in a reaching crunch to that leg raise, just so we get a little bit more ab engagement. So you can do it with a bar or dumbbells. You're gonna reach up into that crunch position and then go for the leg raise. So lower the legs down as far as you can go without your lower back arching off the mat. And then rise them up to almost touch the bar or dumbbells at the top. If you're struggling, Put a little bend in your legs, but keep that leg angle fixed. And if you're finding it easy, point your toes, straighten your legs, and go further down. All right, gonna get back onto those leg exercises. We're gonna do some alternating reverse lunges. So backward steps, let's go, dropping down. So you can do this with a bar on your back, you can do it with dumbbells, or if you're struggling, then just do body weight, that's absolutely fine. You don't have to do these uh, loaded up. Okay, next 
Next up, we've got a mix. We've got a core exercise. It's also going to work on your shoulder stability. We've got an overhead march. So you're either holding the barbell in an overhand grip or the dumbbells work best in a neutral grip. You know, for this alternating controlled march, you should have a goal to get your knee above your hip height. Try and keep your elbows locked out and the dumbbells pulled back slightly. Ideally, you'd have your biceps level with your te temples. As you can see, I'm struggling to talk because it takes core brace and balance. Oh. All right, next up, got some Romanian deadlifts. We're gonna do double leg Romanian deadlifts. Just feeling that nice deep hamstring stretch each time. So unlock the knees, but then keep the legs almost straight. Hinge, back through. I'm gonna rep fairly quick, because the weight's not too heavy. If you do wanna jump back to that heavier weight for this exercise, feel free. Or if you wanna do it like me and just treat it like a really good stretch and a chance to lengthen those hamstrings out, scoot the hips back, keep the dumbbells running nice and close to your body. Shoulder blades pinned back slightly. All right, I'm gonna take the opportunity to grab some water. So we've got two more rounds. I'm gonna to move to the barbell now to show you those same exercises just done with a bar. There you go, that was a thimble of water. All right, so we've got those one and a half curls. So up, halfway down, back up, all the way down. If this looks like a lot of weight on my bar, it's because this is actually a 10 kilo, 22 pound bar. And then I've got some five kilo, 11 pound plates on either side. So it's not your standard 20 kilo Olympic bar. If I was using that, I wouldn't bother with any plates on the side. All right, onto those skull crushers next. You might find this more comfortable on your wrists on the dumbbells, but it can be done with a bar. Or you could just put some wrist straps on. So you're gonna lower the bar down towards your forehead and then extend to the top. And keeping a relatively narrow grip on the bar. For me, this feels comfortable, but you might find you prefer dumbbells or just put some wrist straps on. So elbows stay tucked in, try not to let them flare out to the side. That's the same whether you're using dumbbells or barbells. Okay, we've got those leg raises next. So we're gonna maintain a reaching crunch whilst doing the leg raise throughout. Remember, when you lower your legs, we don't want you to arch your lower back. So head and shoulders staying slightly off. Shins are gonna almost touch, but don't bash them on the bar. Next up, we're gonna go onto the reverse lunges. So the bar is gonna go on your back. And alternating backwards steps.
Next stop, we're gonna do an overhead march. I do think this is slightly easier with the barbell. So alternating sides, trying to get that knee above hip height, Maintain, maintaining those locked elbows, not just holding the bar, but actively reaching the bar up towards the ceiling. If you can put that brief pause in each time, that would be great. Got the Romanian deadlift. Next, focusing on that hip hinge, then a nice stretch down the hamstrings. Number one tip is just keep the dumbbell or bar really close to your center line. So you're gonna engage your lats, almost pulling the bar up against your body, just to ensure it doesn't drift out front. Imagine someone's pulling your hips backwards that folds you in half and you're gonna keep your shoulder blades wrapped back and around your body to stop any rounding of your upper back. So I'm gonna go back to the dumbbells for this third and final round and then that'll be the workout complete. So doing those one and a half curls. Skull crushers next. So lower the dumbbells down, extend back to the top. Like I said before, if you fancy a program for the new year, Check out my 12 week dumbbell plan or barbell plan ebooks. Let's put a lot of time into the programming, so check them out on my website linked in the description of this workout. <laughs> All right, we're staying on our backs now, we're going to go to those leg raises. Remember, add that reaching crunch to just put a little bit extra ab engagement in. So we're gonna reach up, head and shoulders slightly off, and let's go. Really focusing on not letting the lower back arch off the mat at the bottom. Okay, we're going onto those reverse lunges, alternating legs. You can do body weight if you're struggling. And if you're feeling good, just up this pace with me now. Just trying to get some good amount of reps in. Still getting those nice low lunges though. Don't, don't cut out the depth. You could even touch your knee gently on the floor if you've got a soft floor. Oh, 
shot, that overhead march. Next, a bit of shoulder and core stability. It's really tempting to bend those arms, so keep them locked out nice and tall. Hard to breathe when your arms are overhead. All right, onto our final exercise of the workout. We've got those Romanian deadlifts. Getting that nice big stretch down the hamstrings. Thanks for joining me. If you made it this far, let's get this last set done though. All right, let's go. Make sure once you finish the workout, let me know in the comments, how did you find this workout? And where in the world are you doing the workout from? It's always really great to hear where people are following along from. All right, let's up that tempo for the last few reps. Still keeping that nice form though. Oh. <sighs> Workout complete. Have a great Christmas, everybody. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed that. Consider subscribing to the channel. If you wanna leave a donation, check out the super thanks button just to help support the channel and hopefully see you again soon for another workout.